Hello and welcome to this demo on Viva Sales. We're going to show you how you can use Viva Sales to capture information from Microsoft Teams meetings and also using Viva Sales for interactions between Dynamics 365 and Outlook. In order to use Viva Sales, your global administrator will need to add this to your setup. This can be done by accessing admin.microsoft.com. From there, it's then just a case of selecting settings just here, then selecting integrated apps. Select this option here, marked as get apps. Search for Viva Sales. The you then have Viva Sales for Outlook and Viva Sales for Teams. They can be used independently of each other. It's simply a case of selecting get it now. And this will then start you through the wizard for setting up Viva Sales. If you would like this only to be used by certain users, you can specify this just by selecting the Users tab just here. And then you'll see here that you can then deploy this just to specific users. Once you're happy with that, just select Update and then your app will be deployed for you. You can repeat the same process for setting this up for Microsoft Teams. To log into Viva Sales for the first time, Simply open up an email like so. You can then select this icon here for Viva Sales. You see it will open up the Viva Sales pane. You can select the option here to sign in to get started and you can see the two types of software it will connect to. I'm going to select sign in to Dynamics. You can then select the different environment that you wanted to select and you'll see all of your sandbox and live environments here. Select Get Started, and then you'll see uh, that it will now connect to Viva Sales. At the moment, it's not tracking any communications with our contact here, but you'll see that it has surfaced some information from Dynamics 365. So you can see the contact information here, you can see the account information here that's available to us. If I select this option to mark as customer, it's now going to start tracking this information in Dynamics. We can also select the option here to edit any of these records once we've selected a customer. And you'll now see in there that we can select these records directly from within Outlook. So I'm just going to say that my contacts is a purchasing manager. And then select Update Dynamics, like so. And that's how you can connect to Viva Sales and also how you can mark somebody as a customer. If we select a contact that we've had more contacts with, so here I'm sending an email to Marcus Taylor, who's someone that there's been a lot of interaction with. You can see on here uh, some previous emails to that person and also some details of some uh, previous Teams meetings with them. Again, you'll see there's quite a lot of information here connected to relevant opportunities and their account in Dynamics. And also if I select on the details here, I can add some notes regarding this customer here. Again, we could then add on here some other items on maybe their preferences or their interests. These notes here don't feed back to Dynamics and they will also be personal to yourself. They won't be shared with colleagues. A further feature of Viva Insights is the ability to share records. So here, if I wanted to communicate with a colleague just regarding the contact, I could just select here where it says options, could just select the option here to copy link. And now if I go to a Teams chat window and then type in a message, I'm just going to ask a quick question here about a reference and instead of just putting the name in here, I can put a link to the person's records. So again, they can cross reference and make sure that actually they are happy to put this person forward as a reference. We're now going to have a look at how Viva Sales can be used in Microsoft Teams. You can see here that we're about to send out an invitation to a meeting. You can see here this notification saying that if we record this meeting, it's automatically going to generate the conversation insights. Now that's going to automatically generate a meeting summary and give us some details on the call. Now this is regarding an opportunity as well, so I've just set that regarding that item as normal, which is using the Dynamics 365 option here. Now we've got the transcription started and we have people in the meeting. We're just going to record the meeting and then we're going to see a summary of the meeting afterwards. After the call is complete, you will see that Viva Sales has now sent us this meeting summary. 
Now, if I open that summary, we can see all of the conversation that you can see here in the transcription, but you can also recap certain areas of the conversation and it's also picked up on where you have positive and negative sentiment, which is shown in this color code here. Now, if I wanted to fast forward to where the sentiment starts to sound a little bit more positive, like so, you can now see this is where they start having the conversation around the payment terms. And you can see the transcription here has also taken me to that same area. If I wanted to play this back, again, I could just select the option here to play and get a little bit more information on what that conversation was about. If I select the recap here, you'll see that this is summarized all of the highlights of the call that you can see there and also created those actions. So our potential customer has asked for this to be summarized and put into an email and you can see that that's now in place. If we go to the mentions, you can now see in there that it's now shown us the items that have come up in the conversation. Now some of these may be more useful than others, but again, that can give you a nice little insight into some of the items that came up and how often they came up in your conversations. And that's how you can use the summaries within Viva Sales. Once we have completed our discussion, you can then add the record directly to Dynamics just by selecting more options displayed just here, then select more actions and then add to Dynamics 365. You can then click in the regarding field here and search for the relevant record. I'm going to give this title, select save, and that's now added this directly to Dynamics 365. If we return to the record in Dynamics, you will see that this has now added this item here as note, this little hyperlink here where it says view chat. And we can now select that record, open the item in Teams, and you'll see that it's now taken us directly back to this link and we can now see the details, the summary of the call. And there's some of the ways that you can use the Fever Sales feature of Dynamics 365.